This is a family show, so I can't swear. Okay, so we have to look at that. You have to look at the camera. Okay, but not look at the screen. Can I can I swear? Yeah, you can swear. We swear all the time. I swear all the time. Oh really? Yeah, I just have to edit it after. Okay, Okay, cool. So can I be like, yes, honey, it's fantastic. What's up, guys? We are back with another episode of Fancasted. Yes, hey, yes, hey, hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. As you know, it's Fancasted music. We talk everything hip hop, drama, R and B. We got it all for you guys. Low country, Laura. Yeah. I'm yeah. your host, CJ, along with Aubrey Royal in the building. And I'm visiting. Hi, <laughs> I'm Mark from Fancasted Movies. What but a uh, nerd. Anyways, today we got a very special topic that's hey, near and dear to yes, all of us. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. Um, the top ten artists with no Grammy. When you guys, yeah, when you guys hear the list, you'll understand. You'll be like, like it doesn't bruh. make sense how these artists don't have Grammys. No, honestly, you'll actually be frustrated. This might be a little bit of an emotional episode it, it, because it gets, cry, bit, it gets very real. It gets real. It gets real. It gets mad yeah. real. We're okay. stupid. We are doing it. So, the Grammys is an institution that started way back in the day that has been used to show excellence in music. But outside of, of course, (laughs) having some of the best live performances in their ceremonies, they're also responsible for giving out awards for varying genres of music. That's okay, we will start with number one, which is one of my favorite artists from the West Side. Hit it. Snoop Dio Double G. That's a His hits after hits after hits from, you know, early 90s all the way up to now he's to he's now. literally transcended every single the generation man, of music. first of all has also like dipped into almost every genre, genre. Of music. you know the what man has featured on everything, everything. He's, he's in a he's in a rock album like yeah he, he, he called himself snoop lion let's get sake. it together for a second the man just dropped one of the dopest gospel albums i ever heard in my entire life <laughs> and he's not even a gospel singer 14 nominations guys it's not like he's saying he, he's had only like two or three like for yeah, yeah like, that's a that's a hefty number, and that means that obviously somebody is aware of his cultural, oh, if not right. musical, influence. Of course, yeah, of, I mean it just goes to show how, how much he's he done, and how yeah. diverse he yeah. is, and how much he's done for the hip hop community, community, not just yeah. in the West Coast, but also you know in the East, and how much he's yeah. influenced the entire genre. I mean, yeah. even all these new age rappers now, they yeah. know who Snoop Dogg is. Of course, some of them don't, some of them don't even know you yes, know how the other OGs are, but they know Snoop Dogg they because know Snoop. he's been able to, to keep his name relevant. And the thing is too that I love Snoop because he's so like he's so true to his sound. Oh, like yeah. if you listen to Snoop, you always, always know, know that it's Snoop. Snoop. Like he never changes his flow. He never t- exactly. like he's just always been that guy. On point. Uh, what I love about Snoop is not only is he uh, super cool with some of the kids who are coming up now, yeah. but he's also very true to his cultural roots. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he is yeah. very easily the direct descendant of cats like Parliament Funkadelic Ooh. and Sly and the Family Ooh. Stone. That and he, he that, that whole G-Funk that, vibe. Yeah, yeah, basically just like that like whole late one, 80s two, gap two, band two type. Yeah. Now, but do you remember Sexual Seduction? That was yes. Sexual yes. Seduction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. That's only like a small portion of a his music. Very small he has a plethora of other hits and yeah. for him to only have 14 nominations and no and Grammy no wins, Grammy? That's nothing crazy, less man. than Y'all need to so, actually yeah. get it together so is what you need to do. definitely needs to win a Grammy or a Lifetime Achievement Award or something yeah, like that. Yeah. I don't know who's watching. I don't even right, accept the Lifetime Achievement Award. No, he needs Give to get a Grammy. Grammy. Like, seriously. Give him a Grammy. Come on, all right? It's Come been on. a minute. Come on, Grammy. Wow. Okay, that was passionate. That was... Yeah, <laughs> that's what I told you guys. It was about to get him And so... Next one, number two. Number we two, got? Um, we got Mr. Flip Mode himself. Ooh, Busta, 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 Busta Rhymes. Uh, Trevor Smith, otherwise known as Busta Rhymes. Who, who even was, knows his real name? I didn't know his real name. What the hell? <laughs> that uh, man's gonna watch his like, I just didn't how know that. <laughs> how did you do his voice with that? <laughs> Trevor Smith was actually given his uh, nickname Busta Rhymes by another famous rapper who also doesn't have a Grammy. Chuck D from Public Enemy. I only say that to say this. Busta Rhymes has been around since the late 80s, ladies and gentlemen. Since the late 80s. It's 2018. Name an era that he doesn't have a hit in. We start off with leaders of the new school, 
all right? Then we moved into mm. his solo career, yeah, all right? Buddy. That was when he was in the early 90s, late 80s, when he was bucking up with a tribe called Quest. Tribe called Quest. Here we go, Quest. yo. Yeah. Here, Here we, we go, go yeah. yo. So yeah. yeah. so so and, and he had the big hey. pumping hey. winter jacket yeah. on every video. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah. Woo ha! That you, got you all. You, hear still, you still uh, hear that in the club today. I still hey, hope this hit make my people want to jump. Hey. Jump, jump this hit make my people want to jump. Play, play. But you know what they're playing in the club? What? Touch it, bring, bring it, it, babe. Watch, watch it, turn it, it, leave it, stop for me. It's amazing how everybody gets hyped everybody on the knows. bass part. Every and and let's, let's, let's step away from his like decades of music. Let's, yeah. let's just talk about his delivery. And his his flow. Now, his flow. There's really only, knows. we were talking about it earlier. Really? We were watching um, this old school freestyle and E-40 was on it. Mm -hmm. And I said the only man you can compare E-40 to yeah. is Busta Rhymes. Yeah. And in my opinion, I still think Busta does it better. E-40 does it close. Yeah, but E4, no one's rapping like those two guys. And no, Busta no. Rhymes, no. Busta he, Rhymes flows like that, he flows like that in every... Uh, how do you know that many words? Sorry, I just want to know. Like yeah. how, like what, this dictionary guy has like 17 dictionaries. It's like the Urban Dictionary, the just, Jamaican Dictionary, the Canadian Dictionary. And speaking like, of Jamaica, we want to talk about that new wave that we're on right now where everybody's messing around with Jamaican dancehall music. Yep. Who started it? It is absolutely embarrassing. That, that he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a Grammy. Like, what, you, what are you guys actually doing? And I think, and, I, and it's unfortunate to say, but I feel like he's gonna be one of those artists that we're only gonna appreciate oh, what he's done until oh. after. Until after, I'll just say until after. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks because I, there's a lot of other artists that I like that too, but Busta Rhymes for sure. For sure. Yeah. He was he was up there on stage. I saw him and he was spitting still every spitting lyric. His bars, he's still like one of the most. Like what is he? He's, he's, he's got to be like 50 something. Probably. He's 50. one of the most energetic performers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Performers, yeah. bro. For sure. I mean, that man fell off stage in the video. <laughs> I'm bad. Are you serious? Yeah. So you need to play that in the For Busta to not have a Grammy, it was surprise. It was it's mad surprise. Yeah. He's a, that's, that's he's a, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend, he's a legend. He's a legend for he's a legend. sure. Wow. And um, speaking of legends, we'll move directly into number three. three. Whew, I don't even know how to say this. I have a fan cast it rant that is coming out <laughs> soon about this exact same particular issue. Tupac Amori Shakur. Oh my God. Can we just have a moment for a second? Okay, yeah. Let's really have a moment of silence. I'll be super honest. You just broke <laughs> the moment. <laughs> Tupac Shakur, I'll be super honest. Growing up, uh, being introduced to hip hop a lot, mostly by my uncle and my mother. Yeah. Um, I was not a huge fan of Tupac yeah. at all, like in any way, shape, or form. I thought he was corny. I thought that he was overhyped because he was dead. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that too, to be honest. No, real talk. No, real, real. Tell right. But his legacy yeah. is completely, ridiculous. he was easily one of the first hip hop musicians whose legacy was able to transcend the genre completely. Yeah. Yeah. He was a movie star. Yeah. He was hip hop's first rock star. Yeah. Yeah. He was the first person <laughs> on face on his a face on t-shirts like, oh, on for kids in Asia. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? He completely revolutionized yeah. like uh, fame mm. is what he did. Like he he re-identified what fame was. You know, in your own communities, you're famous in your own country, whatever. Yeah. He was famous everywhere. Like, anywhere you go, everybody everywhere. knows who Tupac is. Everybody's <clears throat> spitting his rhymes, talking his songs. Like, it's crazy. And and he, and if you watch a lot of his old interviews, he was saying things that is relevant. To right now. To, he almost predicted where hip hop was going. Was going. If yeah. artists weren't fighting the way he was. For, yeah. If artists weren't putting up the content that he was. Yeah. If, if artists weren't selling themselves. If we weren't the fighting was, for you know our own I mean? culture is yeah. what it yeah. was. And yeah. he, that to me, like, honestly, I'm not a big, huge hip hop, like, I don't know. I'm not too much into like hip hop or like rap too much, but um, his life is what really inspired yes. me. Yeah. His it's life story is phenomenal and just where he came from, like his mother was a Black Panther. Like how yeah. do you even begin to find yeah. roots to speak what you speak? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. something yeah. like that is, is when you're rooted in that, what else can you talk about? And how can you not be the person who he is? He is you know what and, I mean? And he was rebellious and he was always yeah. fighting for for the culture and yeah, for and his people and yeah. people, you know, misunderstood that. It's unfortunate how he passed and we won't yeah. really get into that because yeah. there's a lot of controversy, controversy and all of this. Of course, but yeah. I'm just talking about the man and the music and his influence. And, influence, and yeah. there's nothing, uh, there's nothing that can overshadow that and overpower that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of like you, Marcus. I was never the biggest Tupac fan growing up, mm -hmm. but 
I look back at his stuff now, yeah. and it's it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful it's, and it's yeah. relevant. It's genuine. It's, Super it's, relevant. It's relevant. Yeah. So you know relevant, I mean? in fact, that we have so many artists who are directly influenced by, by his death. But that being all that stuff being said, there is no there's no possible reason why he does not have a Grammy. Okay, <laughs> so I mean, we gotta break into this as a science. All right, look, yeah. Tupac Shakur, we understand, did not have an incredibly long career, and we actually took off several people off of this list because of the span of the yeah. career. Yeah, but Tupac was a beast. Beast. In the Monster. studio, yeah. Tupac recorded and recorded and, <laughs> and recorded, recorded and recorded. He released there's stories so many albums after he died. The yeah. <laughs> there's stories of him sleeping in the studio. The man was still yeah. releasing music two years after his death. Yes, <laughs> yes, that has two? yes. I mean, in conclusion, the fact that Tupac doesn't have a Grammy—he has seven nominations, but yeah. not no actually won a Grammy. It, and it's solid kinda, albums and solid, yeah, solid exactly. albums, and you know. It's kind of sad to see, but at the same time, maybe the Grammys may not needed. It. It's it's like his music and his life and yeah. his yeah. influence on the, the music industry and the scene impact, has made yeah. such an impact that maybe he doesn't even need a Grammy. Yeah. Maybe. Wow. I, honestly, Can we I just give I a think, point to the Grammys. I, think we just <laughs> I, to the Grammys. I honestly think that it may have like kind of painted his image if he did get a Grammy. Get a Grammy. Like, maybe he's kind yeah. of like the Kurt Cobain of exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 No, he if he won a Grammy, yeah. it would be like it, yeah, it yeah. wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be him, yeah. yeah. Number Um, four. Yeah, number four. So obviously this person is probably not as influential. Actually, definitely not as influential. She's she's influential. She is influential. influential. Definitely not as influential as Tupac. But we have Nicki Minaj. She hasn't won a Grammy, which is frustrating to me as a female because, I mean, she is... And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying this, but she is one of the first female artists to make it as big as she has in a very long time. Yes. Like That's I wanna say the biggest person before her was Lauren. probably somewhere between Lauren Hill and Queen Latifah. Wow. And so yeah. that is a huge stepping stone. Not only has Nikki been the first um, female rapper to make it this big since them, yeah. she has been dropping heat since her yes. first mixtape. Yes. Like, and I know people don't really, like, some people don't really rock with Nikki like that, but if you listen to her, especially like her earlier stuff, yeah. yo, she goes in on some of her tracks. On top of that, she, for like a three year span, she was featured on, on everybody's music. Yeah, I, was gonna, music. I was gonna say that. She's featured Every on everything. everything. And one thing I loved about Nicki Minaj, uh, she, her delivery is with her raw, bars, yeah. like it's it's raw. Like yeah. I'm not really talking about her pop symbol, but she's rapping. Yeah, she's when she's throwing rapping, down bars, she goes like in. she's delivering, yeah. and she's delivering with everything. Look at Mark, yeah. she's like, I don't know, man. But she, <laughs> but but really and truly, like oh, I think about mean, think about <laughs> think about how much think about how much she's done in terms of you know a being one of the, a female yeah. empowerment and the fact that she has ten nominations, mm-hmm. all these hits. She's made songs with artists with Grammys. With Grammys, yeah. She has, yeah. you know what I mean? And to have ten nominations and not one and Grammy, not it's one kind Grammy. of like, yeah. it's kind of, it feels kind of off. And if yeah. I may, I will only chime in on this because I know Nicki Minaj is not my artist. She's not for me. She's not, the, she's not my hero. <laughs> That's okay, Nicki. That's all, fair. It's fair. That's fair. Nicki Minaj, I think, is not my favorite artist. And because of that, I can honestly say this. Consider it how much of a kick in the face to African American women yeah. that she does not have a Grammy and Macklemore has a Grammy. Has a, yeah. That Just think about crazy. that. Right, the comments are gonna go crazy for that one. Next week's next week's list Bro, is about I'm to be not ten even people, gonna, ten people, people that need to get their Grammy. There, 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 like, there are definitely a few people that don't have a Grammy that I don't feel like deserve a Grammy. Exactly. Either. You know what I mean? And, yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and it's true. Which is fine, but you know, Nicki Minaj, like I don't she's know. not one of them, and she she really has she come out hard. and done her. She, does, she works she does work hard. so hard. Like she's in the studio, and I know that she had been going through some stuff at one point. She yeah. came back hard. She dropped yeah, an she album dropped recently, a new one, a new bro, album. and people are going crazy over it. She got crazy, that. She got that new one. What, was she was she talking mad smack about, mad, about every about dude everybody. in the artist? Yep. I'm talking oh, crazy. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking. We, she talk, she bringing it's up. Fair, she name dropping everybody because the thing that bothers me though is because she came out before a lot of the artists that are big yeah. right now. They 
they all did tracks with her, they did performances with yeah. her, and all of them passed her kind of like and didn't even look back. Exactly. They, yeah. And these are all male artists, you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. as a female, to me, it's kind of like, yo, that's super disrespect. Yeah. Oh, and for the little kids in the comment section, you know, you super edge lords who are going to come in and I'm be so like, dead. well, she came out at the same time as Drake, so maybe she wasn't working as hard. Check her mixtape. Check her mixtape. She's, She's been working longer than Drake. Her mixtape yep. are fire hard. hard but i mean for her not to have a grammy after all her work yeah, after making crazy, it man. as far as she has as a female artist it's it's amazing so yeah shout out to Nicki minaj shout yeah, out man, shout for out for Nicki, man. hey so, oh, 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 oh. that's a good mixture oh, yeah okay. so, i mean where do hey you, we should be a dj i know <laughs> i mean